Hi, uh, my name is Marla Lady. I'm an associate professor in studio art. Um, I tend to teach in the drawing upper level and 3D area. This year my focus will be on Sculpture One. Uh, my journey from student to, to UTSC. Um, studio art is um, a field um, that is about being out in the world, embraced in communities, uh, in theaters, in galleries, in concert halls. Studio art, um, my practice is very much in the gallery. Um, I also do work that isn't in the gallery that is very much part of places and uh, importantly needs to be experienced in those places. And I had uh, a, quite a career working out in the world in galleries before I decided to pursue teaching. And for me, teaching is amazing. I, I love working with people who come to Scarborough to study the arts. Uh, and I like to think of myself as having being a mentor, having the opportunity to to tell you, you know, find the artist in yourself. And what does it mean for you to be an artist in the world? Because there really isn't a one way to be a studio artist. There are so many possibilities. And I, I think that's what you want to do when you come to our program is really explore and, and find out all the different possibilities and figure out what makes sense to you uh, as a creative person. When, when I studied, um, I did my undergraduate degree at the University of Victoria on the West Coast. And I went in really sure I was a drawer. And I, I, I drew all the time. And I, I, I'm pretty sure a bunch of you, if you're watching this, would say the same thing. Because that is often one of the first arts that we come to. These days it tends to be drawing or it tends to be photography. But um, the more I, I spent time um, studying, I kept myself open and I explored. Uh, and I explored things that scared me. <laughs> I could never imagined in a million years I would end up being a sculptor. And not at all. And I really uh, I'm glad I took the chance and experimented because now... I'm a sculpture teacher, and I'm excited to pass that on to anyone who ends up in my course this year. Um, importantly, uh, for those of you who are thinking about doing a double major, when I went into my undergraduate degree, it was really a toss-up between the sciences and the arts. I was, I was really invested in the sciences. Um, e and even though I ended up focusing on the arts, um, I, I took computer science, I took microbiology, and that kind of thinking continued to inform me and my art practice. And if you do end up looking to explore what it is I do, you'll see that uh, the sciences can seeped its way in. So, um, you know, I offer a workshop called Code for Creatives, and it's all about how code uh, can come into making art. I build kinetic art. Um, so the, the, the technology, the technological mindset, that scientific mindset never left me, and I brought it together with my art practice. So big tip there, you never, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> it sounds so simple. Um, advice I would give a student starting out in this program. Well, maybe that's the beginning one. You don't know what you don't know and experiment. Um, be part of the community, uh, make friends, talk. Um, all great ideas usually come out of you know, pushing it around with 
your your colleagues at school. I know that's true for me even now. I have a community of artists that I hang out with and we talk ideas. Uh, take things that you you wouldn't normally take, that you could never imagine seeing yourself in. Uh, all of the courses we offer in studio art, um, they, they, they're so interesting and they will allow you to grow in a way you can't imagine. Um, so experiment, don't be afraid to experiment. And if you're really unsure, reach out to, to other students who have taken the course and ask them about it. Reach out to the professor and talk to them. Tell them your concerns and I bet you they can help you feel more confident going into something you're nervous about. Um, if, if you're new to university, oh, it's really different than high school. It's it's different than being in a job. If you're coming from being in a in a job, um, it's it's exciting because you 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 go as far as you push yourself. So it's really important, particularly in studio art, to to put aside a lot of time for your different projects. Um, one of the things I hear constantly, particularly from students in the sciences, is that um, they're uh, uh, quite surprised at how much more time is required to figure out the, to figure out the project, to figure out um, how you're going to get to the idea that you you have and even sometimes what your idea is so know that it's it's no, it, it can take more time and it's but but when you get it it's so great it is so great really epiphanies that's the one thing about studio art and being a creative person is the epiphanies they're fantastic. Um, a fun fact. Um, a fun fact. I'm going to be teaching Sculpture One this year online from my studio. So it's an amazing opportunity for you to hang out with me in my studio. It Not a lot of people get to do that. Uh, and it's pretty cool. I'm I'm actually not recording right now from my, my studio. I'm recording from my office. So you have to join my class to see my studio. I don't know if that's a fun fact, but uh, maybe you'll get to meet my cat, Quincy. Quincy likes to hang out with my students. Okay, well, uh, good luck with the year and I really hope to see you.